hello everyone how are you and welcome to another video on react native course so in today's video we will implement our create account functionality uh, using firebase so first of all guys you need to go inside your firebase console so go to your project that you created and after that we have to go inside uh, the authentication okay so build and then authentication and here guys you need to click this button get started and uh, here first of all you will have to enable this email password enable it and uh, save it okay okay friends so after enabling your email and password authentication you need to go to the project settings or uh, project go to the project overview and here you need to add app web and you can name it whatever you want to name it i will name it uh, same as my application name geo survey coding with z now register your app over here so we are not using firebase hosting so please uh, make sure you uncheck that and here guys you can find your credentials so copy this whole thing and also continue to console after that go to your project and inside the config uh, folder I already add this firebase dot javascript file paste your code over here and here guys we don't need uh, this analytics part okay and uh, so I will remove this and uh, I will also remove this uh, extra comment out sections okay now guys uh, what you need to do you need to export this uh, const app initialize app okay so this is these are your credentials so make sure that you don't hard coded your credentials in your main code as we learned in our uh, environment setup video that we need to hide our credentials so how we can do that so very simple we will uh, create these credentials inside our environment files so let me show you how we can do it so go to your .env file here guys you need to create your uh, variable let's say firebase api key and then is equal to and we will uh, provide this string okay like this and we will create uh, this for each so auth domain so firebase auth domain okay and we will copy this and paste it over here and we will do same thing for all these okay so now we provided all the things inside our env file we will save it and we will import all these things inside our this firebase.javascript file so how we can import the environment file simple import import then uh, curly braces and uh, guys from at the rate E N V E N V like this okay now inside that you need to provide each and every variable okay firebase api key and then firebase major id and guys we will provide all these things over here so we will replace this hard coded value and we will provide the in value from the environment over here now we will save it friends okay so this is our firebase app so 
so our fibers.js file is completed right now and we secure our credentials also now friends what we will do we will go inside our documentation of firebase one more time and here you will find uh, authentication and uh, if you come to this usage you will find this uh, first of all you will need to uh, install this library yarn at react native firebase app we already done that in our previous video now we will install this package authentication package so guys for that we need to run this command inside our uh, project okay friends so after that we will cd into our ios folder and do the pod install so cd ios and pod install okay so it will install the firebase authentication for uh, ios okay now guys we are ready to use this uh, firebase okay firebase app so now we will come inside our create account screen okay so we will come inside our create account screen and here guys we will uh, write our firebase code for uh, creating account okay guys to create account using firebase first of all we need a uh, we will create a variable called uh, auth okay and uh, there is the function called get auth which uh, comes from firebase authentication library that we just installed okay now after creating this const we will use one more function from authentication which is create uh user create user with email password okay now in this guys you need to provide your auth constant that we just created above and after that we will provide guys uh, data dot email it take two things email and password so data dot email dot uh, we will also say trim so it will uh, it will cut the extra spaces from the string okay and uh, data dot password and i will also use trim over here so it will cut the extra spaces okay guys so now that after then i will say then so then is used for like uh, when we get uh, uh, credentials when this uh, function runs and it give us some response so it comes inside then here i will say user credentials credentials okay now after that arrow function okay for this user credentials and we also need to uh, catch provide the catch so catch is for guys like if you uh face any error okay so it will come inside the catch okay if anything happens and your account is not created it will come inside the catch for now i will simply just console.log the i will say error okay create account error and i will uh, print this error okay and uh, i will also set my this state set as the data to false okay like this so what will happen like if any error come our loader will be uh, disabled okay okay friend but if uh, all thing goes correct and we got the credentials so after that what we will do is uh, do i will uh, console.log that account created successfully account created successfully and we will also i will also print console.log user credentials to check what are the things that firebase is returning us 
you can call it response also whatever you want to call it you can call it i called it uh, user credentials okay you can also call it response from the this function and um, if we get this uh, so guys if we get this um, response also we will also dis disable or hide our uh, model also so here we will do the same thing okay guys so our code is ready let's just run our application and check if all the things are working fine or not so yarn and droid to run the application in a android device okay so i will open the application okay now we will go inside our create new account screen i will provide uh, uh, gmail over here so this is my gmail and i will uh, provide password over here also so let's uh, make password of uh, this okay so this is our password we'll copy it and paste it over here and let's pray create account so let's see what will happen okay so if i press j so it will open the dev tool and now you can see friends that account created successfully and guys uh, here you can see that uh, you know, we also get this user information also okay so here is one more thing that we need to do that if someone is trying to open an account but that account is already open so how we can handle it okay guys to handle that situation what we will do we will come inside our uh, this error so it will give uh, it will go inside the catch error okay if account is already created and someone is trying to open that account which is already created so i will say if error dot code okay error dot code equal equal to this uh, auth okay auth slash email and uh, email already already okay email already in use so firebase gave us a code uh, which has a string that auth slash email already in use so here guys we need to show user that this account is already created so i will console.log and say that account already already created okay created so now i will save it and let's see uh, what will uh, our console.log okay what will print inside our dev tool so let's come over here okay now we'll create this one more time now you can see that it comes inside uh, the catch thing and uh, it's a account already created create account error it also prints the error because we console.log the error and this is our error auth slash email already in use okay guys so uh, and one more thing guys that whenever uh, the the whenever the the whenever this function provides creates the account or whenever this function fall in the error we need to do two things over we will set the email to undefined to its original and password to uh, undefined and i will uh, copy this and paste this this over here also and one more thing guys inside your uh, this input text component so guys inside this input text component there is one more thing of the text input which is the value so friends value will be will also come from the prop also over here and uh, friends by default value will be undefined okay value and we will provide value over here 
and this is undefined by default and in this value guys we will provide data dot password for password and uh, value data dot email for email so whenever we create an account and our uh, application give uh, error or created the account successfully then it will uh, come to its original state like this okay guys so this is it for today's video i hope you like it if you like it hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment section take care and have a good day